Okay, Eternity Forge game development blog number one. Going to be talking about 2D collision detection with the separating axis theorem. And you can see I have it implemented here. Polygon uh, shape collides with another polygon shape. Uh, you get a nice little change of color from the blue to the yellow. And it says collision detected. I also have collision detection uh, for my character here, as you can see. So, let's talk about the separating axis theorem a little bit. Um, it's all over the internet, but basically what you're doing is you're taking all the axis axes from one polygon comparing them to the other and how you do that is you take the slope formula and you get the slope so negative 4 over 2 that's this line here then you pick a normal invert the coordinate of the y or the x you get either this normal or this normal then you take the dot product of all the points on your polygon uh, combined with the normal and it gives you a value you take all those values then you pre compare them all. You keep track of the minimum and maximum one. And you compare the min of the first polygon against the max of the second. And uh, so on and so forth. And if all those cases turn out to be true, then you have a collision. So, detect collision. Here's my function. It's not very long. Got a couple helper functions. But shouldn't be too hard to implement now in a game let's go back to our game in a game it might be better not to just have polygons which are a collection of points but to have a collection of lines which is uh, two points because then you can compare the lines to the other lines and keep track of collisions by what lines colliding uh, this is pretty useful for uh, you know, in this game, because the hero character needs to collide with world geometry. So I don't know why this is uh, running so slow. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can see he uh, slides around, and depending on what line he's hitting, his behavior is going to change. So that's pretty cool stuff. Um, this little guy was modeled in. Max and animated, and he's just a collection of sprites. So there's another uh, thing besides separating axis. It's called uh, GDK or SDK or FML or Y2K or uh, something like that. I couldn't understand it though. I understand the separating axis theorem, so uh, I recommend you use that if you want to look that other thing up though. And uh, you got the brains to do that, go for it. My hat will be off to you. There's other uh, means of detection as well, but uh, you know, if you make a game, you're gonna have to make some choices. Uh, I think once you get something up and running, that's pretty much probably what you're gonna be using, unless you're a hardcore crazy programmer or math fiend. But I'm not either of those things.